This is the Asclepias plant, also known as a swamp plant. Very, very popular food for the monarch butterfly, which is a real novelty. Now this plant here is um, a true perennial. It can actually grow up to about two and a half meters. The females can lay 70 to up to a couple of hundred eggs. So they're very, very uh, uh, prolific layers of eggs. We grow swamp plants from around about, um, for sale from around about October, right through to uh, March. And that's the, the ideal time for uh, the caterpillars to inhabit them. Um, of course you can't spray your swamp plant as it's growing because all sprays are toxic to the caterpillar. So if you see aphids coming on, and aphids often inhabit these bushes from, from around about November onwards, you have to take them and rub them off. These ones are actually nice and clean, but you have to do it organically. Usually the, the aphids come to the really tender, tender leaves at the top, tip of the bush, and it's usually quite easy to control. If you're planting a, a bush this size, you would probably need about four to six to be able to satisfy the grubs that will go on them at that time. Otherwise, you can cover them until you want them to be smothered in caterpillars. If you want, that's another thing you can do. Make sure whatever you're covering with, it's shade cloth or wherever you keep it off the foliage, otherwise they could still um, lay their eggs on there. You're best to cut your plant right back to around about here or even a bit lower so they start branching away again. And if you plant them under an eave or somewhere where they're going to be protected from frost, they will last through the winter months and then there'll be a big plant by the time spring comes again. And if they've taken the, the, these, these buds right back to the stem, you might not get them coming away from there. That's the reason why you're generally best to cut it back a bit lower because that's where the most likely um, growth is going to come from.